Hey everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and this is uh, part two, continuing uh, the junk journal that we're creating. We gutted our book already, so I'm taking the text block out. No longer need that for this journal, but I can use it when I'm creating my signatures and I need to punch holes in the signatures. So before we get started, just wanna welcome everyone if you're new to my channel, thank you so much. I uh, invite you to subscribe if you enjoy my videos and click the little bell next to that if you wanna be notified and when I upload a video. And if you're coming back and you're joining me in this junk journal uh, you know, journey, I guess, then I uh, welcome. I hope that you learned something, get some inspiration, some sort of inspiration. And let's get on into covering the book panels and our spine with fabric. There are uh, an underlayer we're going to do to cover the panels and spine of our book is going to be either fabric, a light fabric, or a Tyvek, which is a postal material. It's, it's like a paper. Or you can use a thin paper, like a, similar to a packing paper if you want to. But this is an underlayer and not to be seen. You could use cheesecloth, a gauze, or I'm gonna use muslin. This is a bleached white. And that's just gonna be my underlayer. I cut it to fit around my book panels and spine about an inch and a half a piece. You can see that here. Then we decided as a group we wanted to do a Christmas journal. So you can find Christmas fabric just about anywhere, even today. Here are some that I had I could choose from. These are from the Dollar Tree. I could choose those. You need to make sure you have a good size to fit around your journal size about like this. This is a fabric that I found last year, I believe, at Dollar Tree with the red trucks. So that's what I'm choosing to use this year for my journal. You do need glue. I recommend glue. You wanna make sure that it holds well I am going to use this Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. I like how it works. It has two different tips. It has a fatter tip and a more fine tip. You can use a Lane's Tacky Glue. This is a nice glue to use. You can actually pick this up at the Dollar Tree in that small size. Or you can use Fabri-Tac. This is also a good glue to use a permanent adhesive. It bonds fabrics, lace, glass, whatever. This is really good. It's by Beacon. Okay, so now you've cut around your fabric. This is my muslin to fit on top of my panels. First step is to turn your book cover over and fold your fabric that you've cut, your muslin, I'm gonna just call it muslin, in half, okay? Now you want to start with your spine. So take your glue and cover it well over your spine. And then what I do, which you don't have to, but I use my finger to smooth the glue out. You also wanna make sure to get into these hinges because your glue is going to need to be in there to hold the hinges and you need to practice folding your fabric to make sure that it folds. So that's another tip. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure it's in half and start with the spine. And then you're gonna smooth it in really well and you don't want any wrinkles. You don't need a lot of excess glue either. And then you want to make sure that you get it in the spine. Okay, once you have your spine done, make sure that you can open 
and close it and that you're adhering into your hinge. If you don't feel like you have enough in there, just press it in more. It takes a little bit, but it's worth it. Okay, then fold your fabric back and add glue to each panel. Okay, now that you've covered both sides of your panels and your spine, making sure your hinges are able to bend just like a book should, flip it over and we're going to pull in <clears throat> your edges just like you would. Now the first tip that I have for you on that, make sure to cut your corners. You're gonna want about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch on your corners. So just cut the corners off. Now that's about a quarter of an inch. Just make sure you cut all your corners off like that. Okay, after you've cut the corners of your muslin off, then you're gonna start in the spine here in the middle and you're gonna start adhering your, your, um, your fabric, this muslin fabric. So I'm just gonna start here and make sure that you get that. It will be covered up, but you wanna make sure it's in there good. Your glue's in there and then you can bend your Continually check your folding of your um, spine. Make sure that your hinges will fold. And then make sure you put your glue down to adhere all your side panels. And then just do that all the way around. And then we'll come back and talk about that. Generally, I do the top and the bottom first, and then I pull in the side panels. Um, it's easier to pull tight on your fabric if you work with one or the other first. So I'm gonna do this first, and then I'll pull in these panels. You can choose to do it however you prefer. Okay, once you have your top and bottom, make sure, again, keep checking your hinges to make sure they fold. Then you're going to take the other, the side panels, if that's how you're working from the side, and then you're gonna glue these down. Again, make sure you're pulling your fabric tight. This is my muslin. This is my bottom layer. We wanna make sure we're making a very durable journal because it's going to be open and closed a lot. So pull it tight and make sure you have enough glue and you get all your wrinkles out because you're gonna be putting fabric over this. There you go. If you need more glue, you can always add more glue. Okay, so now we've put the first layer on our book cover and next you want to pick out what fabric or what you want to be on the outer layer I'm gonna use fabric everyone mentioned that they wanted to use fabric so that's what we're gonna do if you need to press your fabric first you can this isn't too bad and I think I can pull that out this is such cute fabric okay so I'm gonna cut this again to the one and a half or so inch around the edges. So I have a hem, if you wanna call it a hem, or a good edge there to fold up for my outer covering. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, I have my fabric cut. I know exactly where I want this truck to be on the front of my journal. So I kept checking it to see if that would make it centered where I wanted it. So I do have a little excess here, but I left it just to check it 
This is a little tighter, but I think it'll be all right because we're gonna cover the inside anyway. So now what I wanna do is flip it over. I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay, well, sort of in half. Anyway, I'm gonna fold it over and I'm going to put my glue in. This is the same process that we did with the muslin. Once you have your outside done, flip it over, cut your corners again, cut your corners to about a quarter to an eighth of an inch. And I'm gonna show you what we can do with those corners um, with some book corner covers. There are little clasps that you can put on. So cut your corners. Okay, your book, your journal cover should be done just like this one. You should be able to open your spine, you know, your book and your spine should be all glued down, but giving you the flexibility for opening and closing. Now we need to let this dry and it will serve us well with our journal for Christmas. Now, I just want to give you a couple of uh, little things to think about before we do our next part. This is a, a ring clasp, and you can see it. It's just a little ring, and it has a little clasp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole in my spine after it dries, and I'm going to put this through. You fold these up and put it through, and then it will be on the side like this, and then I can add a charm to my spine. So you can see that. And another thing that you might wanna think about is if you want to put an ornate plate on the front, before we cover the inside, you're gonna to wanna to decide if you want a plate on here and if you want anything in your plate. And these are just some that I have on hand. So like you could take one of these and we could, you could put it on front and you could put the year. So Christmas 2020, or you could put your name or uh, whatever you would like. Okay, I just wanna show you these book corners. They look really nifty. They make your journal look finished. And so I'm gonna put these on my journal, but not until we complete the inside. So now we're gonna let this dry, and that is going to be uh, step two completed. The next thing we'll do is we'll add these ornaments and cover the inside. So be thinking about that. 